Ever wonder how Peterbot gets crazy high FPS and zero input delay in Fortnite? In this video, we're breaking down the secret settings Peterbot uses to get insane FPS and zero input delay in Fortnite Chapter 6. These tweaks will make your game run buttery smooth, even on low-end PCs, so make sure to watch till the end. Step 1. Unparking all CPU cores and threads for Fortnite. In this step, we are going to enable every single core and thread inside your processor to help Fortnite run faster and smoother. Press the Windows key on your keyboard, then type System Configuration and click to open it. When the System Configuration window opens, go to the tab at the top that says Boot. Next, click the button called Advanced Options. In the new window that appears, check the box that says Number of Processors. Now click on the drop-down menu and choose the biggest number you see in the list. This number shows how many total cores and threads your CPU has, and selecting the biggest one tells Windows to use all of them. After you select the highest number, click OK. Then click Apply and click OK again. A small box will pop up asking if you want to restart your PC now. You can choose to restart now or restart later. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Setting Fortnite Process Priority for Maximum Performance You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we are going to make Fortnite use more of your CPU by changing how Windows treats the game's process. First, open the folder named Fortnite Priority Manager that comes with the optimization tools you downloaded. Inside that folder you will see three different files. Fortnite Above Normal Priority Fortnite High Priority Fortnite Normal Priority Default Windows setting. If you have a low-end or budget gaming PC, double-click the file named Fortnite Above Normal Priority. If you have a mid-range or high-end PC, double-click the one called Fortnite High Priority. If you ever want to go back to the normal settings, double-click Fortnite Normal Priority. After you double-click any of these files, a window will appear asking if you want to allow the changes. Click Yes. This change will now be saved in your PC's system registry and will apply automatically every time you launch Fortnite. Step 3. Applying RAM-specific registry, the tweaks for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we will make your RAM work better by applying special settings based on how much memory your PC has. Open the folder called RAM Tweaks from the optimization tools you downloaded. Inside this folder, you will find registry files that are named based on different RAM sizes like 4GB, 8GB, 16GB, etc. Find the file that matches the exact amount of RAM your system has. For example, if your PC has 8GB of RAM, double-click the file called 8GBRAM.reg. After you double-click it, a message box will appear. Click Yes, then click OK. This will help Windows manage your memory better, which will make Fortnite smoother and your PC faster. Step 4. Optimizing CPU using Park Control for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will use a program called Park Control, made by Bitsum, to unlock the full performance of your CPU. First, open the Park Control program. If it is not installed yet, download and install it first. When the program opens, look for the setting called Performance Profile. Change it to Bitsum Highest Performance. Now go down to the section with detailed settings and make these changes. Set Parking AC to Disabled. Set Parking DC to Disabled Set Frequency. Scaling AC to Disabled Set Frequency. Scaling DC to Disabled. Also, make sure that the option called Bitsum Dynamic Boost is enabled. This lets your CPU save power when it's not busy and go full power when running Fortnite. Now open your Windows Power Options and change the current power plan to Bitsum Highest Performance. Then set both Minimum Processor State and Maximum Processor State to 100%. Click Make Active to enable the plan, and click Apply to save all changes. Step 5. Applying NVIDIA Profile Inspector Settings for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we will change special graphics settings for Fortnite using a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. First, open the NVIDIA Profile Inspector program. At the top of the window, click the drop-down menu and select the profile for Fortnite. If you have downloaded my custom Fortnite profile from Discord, you can import it now. If not, follow these steps manually. In the anti-aliasing section, set anti-aliasing, transparency super sampling, to 0x tetra 0 triple 0 8. Scroll down to the texture filtering section. Set texture filtering, driver controlled LOD bias to off. 
Preset Texture Filtering, LOD Bias, DX, and Texture Filtering, LOD Bias, OGL, both to plus 3, 2000. This will reduce the texture quality a little to increase FPS. Set Texture Filtering, Negative LOD, B Bias to Clamp. Set Texture Filtering, Quality to High Quality. In the Power Management Mode, choose Optimal Performance. Click Apply Changes at the top right corner of the window to save all the settings. These settings will make Fortnite run faster and reduce small stutters in the game. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 6. Using ISLC to optimize RAM and reduce input lag for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we are going to use a tool called ISLC to manage your standby memory and make Fortnite feel more responsive. Open the ISLC program. At the top of the program you will see your total system memory in megabytes, MB. Take that number and divide it by 2. Then enter that new number into the box labeled, list size is at least. For example, if you have 16,000 MB of RAM, type 8,000. If you have 32,000, type 16,000, and so on. Now check the following boxes. Start ISLC minimized launch. ISLC on user logon enable custom timer resolution. Set the custom timer resolution to 0.50. Set the polling rate to 1000. If your PC is very slow, you can use 10,000 instead. Now click stop, then click start, and finally click purge standby list. Leave ISLC running in the background while you play Fortnite. This keeps your RAM clean and helps the game run better over time. Step 7. Boosting GPU performance. Using MSI mode. Utility for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we are going to make your graphics card work better using a tool called MSI Utility V3. Open the MSI Utility program. You will see a list of hardware devices installed on your system. Find your dedicated graphics card, like an NVIDIA GeForce GTX or RTX. Tick the box next to MSI, then set the interrupt priority to high. Now look for your integrated graphics chip, like Intel UHD or AMD Vega graphics. Tick the box next to MSI and set the interrupt priority to high as well. Once finished, click apply at the bottom right corner and then close the program. This helps reduce input lag and makes your graphics card respond faster during games. Step 8. Disabling startup apps for better boot time and performance for Fortnite. In this last step, we will disable unnecessary apps that start when you turn on your PC. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC together to open Task Manager. Click on the tab that says Startup. Here you will see all the programs that run when Windows starts. Go through the list and turn off any apps you do not need at startup, like Discord, Spotify, Epic Games Launcher, Update Checkers, etc. To turn one off, right-click on it and select Disable. Doing this helps your PC start up faster and reduces the amount of background usage. Once you are finished, restart your PC so all the tweaks can be applied. After the restart, your system will feel faster and Fortnite will run smoother with higher FPS and less input lag.